Well, hello, and thanks for joining me again in my shop. Now, I'm going to do a little more work on the mechanism of this uh, turntable, or record player, even though I'm pretty happy with it. But, hey, I showed you these two objects here in an earlier video. Okay, I think everybody knows what this is. I don't think there's too much surprise. It's just an old flash bulb from a camera. This would be out of the 60s, maybe even early 70s. These might have been used. So, yeah, I'd like to flash that sometime, but you know, once I flash it, it's not of any interest anymore. So, I'll set that aside. Well, now I'm going to ask a little more directly. What is this? I mean, obviously this is a vacuum tube of some sort. Why? Why is it? <laughs> Where was this used? Uh, it looks like, uh, you know, like regular tubes plug into a socket and they're held in a fixed position that way. What would hold this in position? It'll flop around by its wires. So I I'm, I'm suspect there's some very specific purpose for this this tube or this type of tube. Unfortunately, there's no numbers on it. So my question is, where would you ever find one of these in service? And what kind of device? That's a little more challenging, I think, than what it is. I think it's obvious. It's a, it's a vacuum tube of some sort. I would guess it's a triode, in fact. But I don't really know. So that's my question now. Now, back to the record player. Oh, and thanks, everybody, for the... Uh, the uh, hints. I didn't get anybody really guessing because I think it was a little obvious on the light bulb. But the hints were <laughs> the hints were lots of fun. So now what I want to do is point it out to me. I may not have lubricated the uh, race right in here. Um, not the most important lubrication point because the power that's being applied right here is really high. The mechanical power. But I have seen these frozen really solid too. So we'll put a little grease in there. That way everybody's happy. Whoops, that's a little too much. What we're really going to do in this video is uh, install the... Uh, that's not going to work. Let's try this. I'm going to install the new cartridge in here. Then we're going to get a chance to play it. And I'm going to have to think about what record I should play. Now, I think uh, it was suggested to me that I, I should be lubricating these two pieces of metal here. Oh my gosh, are they frozen in spot? Man. I just don't think those are loose the way they're supposed to be. Look at that. So that's fine. Mm. Not as fine as it could be. 
It should be just falling from its own weight. Hmm. And it's not. Just from my greasy fingers, getting enough grease on it to get it sticky again. I got a comment about uh, alcohol. Uh, you know, rubbing alcohol and being partially water, and I'm sure that's the case. In fact, I think in the comment it said it was 20% water, so it's 70% USP. I wonder what that is. Oops, down here, 70% USP. Contains 70% isopropyl alcohol. And so I guess the rest is just water. But I'm not too worried uh, about using a bit of water on these things because it's going to evaporate very, very rapidly. Um, yeah, you don't want these parts soaking in water. You know, these particular ones, I'm sure they're, uh, they're not going to rust or anything like that. And they're not going to find their way into water. But uh, in my mind, anyway, alcohol evaporates uh, so quickly. seems to me when I put this down here onto the shaft everything seems to go a little haywire Something's rubbing on something here. Now, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's see if there's some scratch mark. <laughs> see if there's some scratch marks or something. I don't see anything. I did put a little bit of lubrication on it, but it wasn't much. Just on here. So maybe we will try a little bit of WD-40 on there. Just a little teeny bit. Pop. <laughs> Just a little teeny bit everywhere. Hey, here's an idea. If I move this arm now, I'm not moving the entire mechanism. 
our only moving part of the uh, mechanism. Let's see if that restriction is still there on the tone iron movement. So bring it across. Right in here somewhere. That's, that's really the end of it there. And you know what? I really don't feel anything. Okay, good. Now we'll put this part back on. something. Okay, so let's see what happens now. As we move this over, bump right there. Yep. Very hard for you to see on camera what's happening. So let's let's try it with a close-up camera here. Bear with me a moment. just have to turn on the focusing manual focusing function here there we go now let me swing the tone arm over was not reset so we'll reset it try it again interesting you know what look at this if there's two pieces that move first they move together there they go together I feel a, a lot of resistance right here and then at this point, the resistance stops, but the lower piece keeps moving. The upper piece is providing the resistance. Ha, but it doesn't feel like that at all. It feels exactly the opposite. Let me try that again. Move together, feel the resistance. How does that work? That doesn't make sense to me at all. I don't know. I don't know what's, why it's like that. It just doesn't make sense. Anyway, we'll carry on, put the thing together, put a record on it eventually, and uh, we'll see if this is really a problem. Maybe in the end it's not really a problem. In the neutral position. Okay, so now we'll start working on doing this. So I just did one of these exact ones with. Oh, look at that. I wonder 
I get all greased and cooked up in here. Now I put exactly one of these cartridges on to exactly the same player just a video or two ago. And to do it, I had to put in a shim. And I experimented to find the right shim, and I found it. And goodness knows, huh, I've still got the original piece of plastic. So I'm just going to cut another shim here and install it. would be, hope I didn't use this joke in the other video, this would be a gym shim by the way. What? <laughs> what? What am I doing with that out here? Good thing I'm not forgetful. Good thing I've got uh, people watching my videos, like you, who are pointing out things that I might be overlooking or forgetting about. appears to be missing. Uh, that's not helpful. I have to go off and hunt of a screw. I seem to remember doing that last time too. So I will do that off camera. Okay, let's try this combination here. pretty good. Well, that's putting in the cartridge clip. That's pretty good. Okay, I want to over tighten it, that's for sure, or I'll just strip the uh, screw and the plastic there. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. Now, here's the new cartridge. Just 
pop that guy. No, let's put the wires on first. Put on the wires. What's going on with this? Did I do that? Okay, now normally red is signal. Yellow is the other signal. Yellow or white. Uh, what's up with that? Uh, there we go. It's the yellow and it's matching ground wire, which I think is probably the black one. I'm not sure which one it is. We're not connected inside the record player, so we'll connect them. Not a lot of clearance to get the second. We're on there. Okay, one more. Trying to be very careful not to... Uh, bump the needle with my finger and wreck it. I'm putting lots of pressure onto things, that's when bad stuff happens. Now last time I had a heck of a time getting these things into the tone arm, but it looks okay on this one. Okay, so let's snap it in. Let's try to snap it in. Clip at the back first. And no, that's not right. That looks a little better. No, something not right here. There's these darn uh, gigantic shrink hose that was on here. It's just too much. I think it's interfering with getting that clip on. Let's try that. Again, I'm quite worried about damaging the uh, cartridge while I'm doing this. No, I don't think it's on the bottom. No, didn't catch the bottom. The little bottom clip. Why not? The thing about working on these record players, especially this kind of stuff here, is the tone arm just doesn't want to go in a position that's easy to work, easy to see and work, work with. dark in there too. Let's take a close-up. See if maybe maybe if I get the camera going I can see some. The close-up camera going maybe I can see a little better here. Sorry about this. It's a little fiddly and slow. Not that uh, most of my videos aren't a little slow. Uh, there we go. Bring the focus down a little bit. Okay, now, get some light in there. I'm trying to look right at the back of the cartridge where there's a small clip. There we can see a little protrusion just above that uh, rivet or just beside the rivet. 
you can see I pulled back the black rubber boots to try to prevent interference with the that's where I gotta get that little tab to go into that hole there that's the objective and I'm trying to watch everything at once here and that's not too good what exactly yeah, that looks pretty good now I got one hand on the camera here I can't uh, manage to do this with one hand okay hold on switch camera switch back hey that's good that's got it oh yeah last time this was not going back all the way. Hmm. Kind of the same situation here. LP. You know what? It's really pretty straight there. Okie dokie. Let's give that a try. Let's see how good it is. Get these wires hanging down. I think that's gonna mess things up a little bit. A little drag on the record surface, and we don't want that. Okay. Hey, you know what? I think we're ready to try playing this. Let's give it a go. Sing along with the honky tonks. I would say there's no chance of a copyright issue with that. Okay, the speed is 33. I'm just going to turn it on to, to just manual first. Give the uh, hold on. There we go. Hmm. What was that funny sound? It's going to give a chance for the uh, amplifier to warm up. noise there. I wonder what's causing that. I'm assuming you can hear that scratchy sound. dirt on one of the controls. I don't think that's the control. Oh, my. 
Ah, my video has stopped. <laughs> Just as well. Because uh, I know you can hear this. There's no response from that needle. What? Okay. Everything's gone wrong. Got to reboot my computer here, and uh, I'll be back in a moment. Okay, I had to reboot my computer to get everything running again. For some reason, the player uh, is just in a repetitive... Oh, I see why. Okay, that's good. I want to leave it like that. Uh, let it just... the mechanism just work away. Kind of fun to watch, in, in a sense. But, here's what's happened now. The amp is uh, on. This brown wire right here, the brown and the white wire, carry the signal back into the amp. When I touch it, nothing happens. What is, what is going on here? So the impression I get is by uh, putting in the cartridge, I somehow short it out the input to the amp. Doesn't make too much sense. So look at the wires here. You see, red is signal, black is ground. The other two wires, the blue and the yellow one, are connected to nothing right now. Just these open, these open posts here. So this is a bit of a mystery to me. Why this thing is not making noise? take the cartridge out, but I'm probably going to have to. I'm going to pull off the red wire. Okay. Oh, I pulled off the black wire. Okay, should have the same effect. If there's a short up here somehow, then I've broken the short. Good. Good. So it thinks it's happily playing a record. Okay, so it sounds different eh, when I turn it up. Now, if I touch that pin, let me turn it down, because I think I know what's going to happen. So, somehow, the cartridge was shorting out. How can that be? That can't be. That's not supposed to happen. I moved it up here somehow. Okay, let's take the cartridge out. I gotta take this needle off. I can just see myself breaking the needle, so it's out. separated into two pieces here. Uh, can't get much cheaper than this, I don't think. So what's the problem here? Red? I don't get it. Okay, so the red and the black are off now. So the one side of the cartridge is off. Let me grab my uh, my ohm meter. Uh oh. Uh oh. Gotta go hunting for my ohm. Okay, so I'm gonna check the resistance of this um, cartridge, and you know, and I haven't done this very often, so I really don't know what to expect. I certainly don't expect a zero.
got my hands right in front of the reading, don't I? So I'm, I'm on the uh, two mega ohm scale now. happening there. I might have been shorting my leads together briefly here. Well, there's certainly no short circuit there. What's going on here? Good. So the mechanics are just sitting there. Good. I kind of started up the record player. I'm worried that the whole arm's going to start moving again, but it's not. So. But I don't get it. Okay. Put the wires on and listen to it as we do it. It's the black one. Here goes the signal one now. Cartridge is bad. Hmm. It's a stereo cartridge, so let's try the other the other side here. Hmm. I think this is the other side. You know, I've never had a bad cartridge come out of the uh, box. This is this is essentially a new cartridge. Left, no, that's right, left, earth. It's a dudden. Doesn't work. Booey. Ah. That's a disappointment. How do you like that? Who'd have thought that? Not me, that's for sure. I'm going to have to get another cartridge. Drat. But the good news is we have... The mechanics all straightened up. Everything's working pretty good. And I think that's as far as I can go. I have to get another cartridge. Son of a gun. A little bit of a disappointment here. But not much else I can I can do about that. So until I get a cartridge, uh, that's it. What a disappointment. 
Okay, let's carry on with something I won't be so disappointed.